Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you're still you're listening to the mad. Yeah, just uh, running around really nearly. Which is completely fine. We have still yet to find Heather. Was Heather in here? Uh, yes. Um, please get a doctor. The broken will be mended. Ah, uh, my insides. It hurts so bad. Here we go. Have a sip. I don't have a lot of blood <laughs> open right now. Can someone call my grandma, please? Don't go before I rescue you, little muscle. Uh, 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 <laughs> Can I not feed her right now because I'm too thirsty myself? You have some blood. Look at how awkward her face is like. Oh, okay. It is a dude that's four games, so. Congratulations, you're a ghoul. See you around. Your fleshman. Who. Uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> the words would be a perilous poison. Farewell. Take care of yourself, Heather. I'll see you around. There we go. Now I think we've accomplished everything we need to in this place. Can I leave by the front door? Hi, bye. All right. Let's get Mercurio those painkillers. And I should also get me some blood. I need the blood. Have you crossed the Dark River yet? No. Have some numb juice. Oh. oh, holy Christ, I needed that. I am no longer here. More humanity. How much humanity do we have? We're almost maxed out on humanity. We are so human, even we can't tell we're not human. And let's go drink some blood. Because we are so human, you see. If this dude is still down here, I think he should be a perfectly good blood bag. Oh, he's not here. Mr. Kimball doesn't have a camera though, so that would have been a pretty good spot. Yeah, I could probably try and attract her into the parking lot for a quick drink. Or, you know, a quick something something. By which I mean drinking her blood. Because I'm a hungry, hungry girl, I'm a hungry, hungry girl, and hungry, hungry girls need to drink. Okay. I hope this is uh, out of sight enough. And if it's not, well, that's a bad day for us, isn't it? Oh, we were so. I thought he looked fine, you know. Fine enough to drink. Apparently, that's still pretty. pretty not good as far as blood quality goes. Like, we've been here. Talk to Heather. I think you can hack into my neighbor's place now. I mean lockpick. Maybe. But I'd have to blood buff and I don't have the blood to spare, do I? No. Pretty low on those buddies. Mm, you're both trying to call people and you both look about the same. Oh, the smoke shop. Don't get anything out of that for now. Hey there, need a day? No, don't. The end is here. Oh, I guess you just turn back then if this is the end. Well, it should be shot, so I will be shot again. That's a classic. Well, you're just gonna go down here, eh? Well, I am hungry, so I don't blame you. Ooh, that went down a lot faster than I expected. 
Did stop myself in time. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable, I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to Oh, it's that again. The Dead of Night. Hi, Arthur. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Are you the key master? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Key master, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica key master. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Do you alone hold the keys? I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Is the lady by the sea so diseased? You mean Santa Monica? You sure got a strange way of saying things. This old burg has gone downhill in the past few years, if you ask me. Lots of shady types moving in, which ain't bad for business, you know what I mean? Uh, the lady's beauty has faded? Hell yeah, I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, do some try to slide down the tubes without paying for your keys? You talking about bail jumpers? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. That's why I got a bounty hunter for. Hunting bounties sounds exciting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Does your hunter have go good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe you need to find a different set of po well, press Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I will happily hunt the hunting Great, one. great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Thank you. I have more questions. Sure, honey, what is it? I'm no longer here. Alright. How high is my computer? My hacking. My hacking is literally four. That's because I have two points in computer. Right. That makes sense. And I have some blood in me now. I'm still pretty pretty hungry. Pretty hungry. And I don't think this is the sort of hunger I can solve by walking hey, in here. Baby. Hi. Something I can help you with. Greetings. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavier burden. I Goodbye, leave it to you. Then. Ah, okay, well he's going to try and drop the place. That's good fun. Where is he? I don't remember what his issue was. What'll it be, honey? In the air spoiled scent on the floor rodent pellets you sell filth here? Via the health inspector. I'm putting the sass in my report you know, too. At least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. I must seek other opportunities for my corruption. Farewell. Oh, free money. Now that's how you rob the place. Gotcha. Understand? I don't think you're really here for a burger. Oh, whatever they sell. No. Uh, I'm busy here. I don't think you're really here for waffles. Apparently, I walked into a busy person. You shouldn't do that. They don't like it. Foxy boxes. That doesn't look like a warehouse sign, does it? It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Are you gonna be here again?
Well, if you got a B, then I got a feed. Let's all do the double eatings. Oh, you actually gave me more blood this time, I think. It's kind of like having a leech, I guess. You know, suck out the blood one so you can replenish it with good blood. Yeah. So that's what happened. Last time I sucked out the blood, uh, bad blood. This time he had better blood. Now, where is suit one? Here is suit one. I knew I had business in here. Ooh, some money. Don't mind if I do. I'm just check, stealing check. all his cash. Thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. No, it's helpful, though. Well. How expensive is your luck? Eight! Ooh. Murder, murder, murder. Yes, we gathered that. It's murder, murder, murder. Alright, let's look at the McKee guys. Uh, yeah. Here's your password. Hmm. Alright. Uh... Location. The key is hiding in that two-bar door in Santa Monica. Okay, and key. Don't forget the key to the two-bar door. It's on top of the TV. Gotcha. Thank you. Great. But he probably took the key with him, didn't he? No, apparently he forgot. And that's not very smart, is it? No, that's not smart at all. Hi, Mercurio. How are you feeling? Wake up, sleep dead. Keep your heart pumping. I'm just not gonna let him rest because I keep hoping he has something to say before I have actually done his quest. Which honestly simply isn't smart on my part now, is it? No. No, I am fed. So I could go look in that apartment over there. On the other hand, we could go and look into the tattoo store. It's right over here. I have strong suspicion that they aren't actually open right now. That looks like a tennis chair. Mm, I guess it's about as useful. Quick cash for modeling. Impulse prosthetic prosthetics. Yes. Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? No, can you solve the mystery of Mr. McGee? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I also you seek are? Mr. McGee. Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? I'm a donut lover sifting for secrets. Oh. Let us meet on this McGee's mystery. I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? Where is this devilish fellow? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. I look forward to Very buzzing good. your basement. And uh, might I say that you have the most colourful way of saying things? Very interesting dissection of the language. Well, anyway. With you soon. I color the world with the hues of my madness. Farewell. Did the skirts just pop up? Hey, need a date? Nah, not tonight. I'm looking for blood. Mind you, this is a terrible idea. I should never have come down to here. You will see why in just a second. One of the reasons is because I don't actually remember how to play the game. Ah, the Limb Lord. No two buses are the same. They sort of really are very similar though, aren't they?
Hello. Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, tell me your name, Limbo. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear. Let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Karen, let us speak of the mystery. Oh, tell me of your life, Limbo. Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves um, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. And what of your own lopped off limb? Mm? Oh, oh, you mean the arm. Yes, oh, oh, that's an interesting story. If you've got the time for one. Tell me if you like. Well, you might say I have a certain love affair with the human anatomy. An obsession, really. Prosthetics seemed a natural occupation in which to uh, focus my enthusiasm, as it were. One man's obsession is another's tuna casserole. Well, I came to realize that I would never truly reach mastery in prosthetics without knowing what it was like to have to use one. I see a stumping conclusion to this thing. And so I decided, quite out of the blue actually, to cut off my own arm. My work, as you can well imagine, has quite improved since then. Now, let our thoughts mingle on McGee. That smile doesn't make your story a lot mm -hmm. better, does it? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But McGee didn't show up for his mugshot? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. Did you did you ask him for nudes? What about Carson? Counterpunters? No, uh, I don't think so. Anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Dig for this don't treasure, Limbot. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. A moment is a slice of time. Oh, farewell. You have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. No. All right, let's follow him. I love how the sound immediately went for spook spookums. I can throw away, throw around all these limbs. Mannequin arms and other parts, 26.50. Wall mannequins on sale, $125. Prosthetic limbs varies per customer. Crash the stummies, 14.50. Amputees must wait up for. Or is it pay? No, wait. That. This doesn't look like it was written with a. Uh, what shall we call them? Does it look like it was pink if what you call them at all? Go in the corner, naughty mannequin. Right, this is locked. Can I pick lock it? No. You know when I understand that you might be using your left hand to right, I would probably not recommend using that font maybe maybe hire someone oh, what's here oh you have blood pack sure free drinks this is where references are made and I understood that reference <laughs> but this doesn't look healthy does not look healthy at all. Yeah. Hmm. No. This does not look like good 
man this guy's a freaking nut job who gimbal who gimbal yeah gimbal that guy's been taking pieces off of me and mcgee over here for the last three days he's crazy man freaking crazy then why did he call mcgee and how do i open this curious cage what are you doing here? oh hi you're already here Well, I can't drink him right now because there are witnesses. Just a little bit of blood buff can help me along. Should that be for hope? There we go. You're free. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Here's Johnny. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? In case you didn't notice, this ain't exactly the Tonight Show down here. Uh, kill Patrick the Key Master, I think. Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He has more bounties for you tonight. Oh no man, no no no, not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Very well. I shall tell him this troubling truth. Very well. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Old Stumpy? Yeah, yeah, have a severed arm. Oh, well. I don't think we can save McGee at this point. Is this where he was waiting for us? Probably. Oh well. We did the bounty. And we did it well. Let's go down it in and then we can... Maybe start thinking about going to the beach. It feels to me like I always avoid doing the first things first. Okay, how much XP did we get? We have three total. We don't really know what I want to upgrade right now, so I'll just let that free total be free total. Hmm. Cool go for some dexterity though, but that costs four points. Which means I will have to wait for those four points. I'll try. I keep wanting to hold down shift to do like uh for some reason I'm expecting to be playing Reaper? Or alternative from Overwatch. Or alternatively, it's just that I keep expecting that I can just do a quick uh, dash sort of movement. Because I've also been playing a lot of uh, Risk of Rain too. Very good. I recommend. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new What's shaking? I he fought the hunter, but he'll not come back to hunt bounties. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His itchy finger is a greasy trophy. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Has fate left you a losing hand? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Sure. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. You want to see if he still casts a shadow on the Lady of the Sea? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Well? No bounty to save for me tonight. Right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. 
I may need a bow that fires bullets. Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so he don't usually sell guns to anyone. But just tell him all Arthur sent you. We'll set you up, all right. Tell me of the footprints that the dirty one has left in the forest. What the footprint? Oh, you mean his record? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this, that, small time stuff mostly. By rewanting his party. Recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. I will go to the place That's of pawns. Right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? You owe me gold for finding the brass bolt, huh? The... Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thank you. Alright, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Uh, my brain has questions that need your sure, brain's answers. What is it? I'm no longer here. Okay. Uh, you did have something about... Thanks. I have more questions posted in my brain. Uh, apparently, no, I don't. Can I just look at you? Computer? Now. Uh, bomb C... I am not gonna look through all, all of these right sure. now. That's a lot. A for me? Sure. Because that is a whole lot of names. A whole lengthy list. Anyway, I think this seems like a good enough place to call it as any. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And we will uh, head back to my apartment. See if the neighbor is home. And if not, we'll just do something about it. I know. See if there's clues. Might be the door I've been trying to pick lock since the beginning. The beginning being the last episode, isn't it? Ooh, grab nipple. Thank you for grab nipple. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Just be, just be very careful. There's a whole lot of grab nipple.